So finally, set up some feeds and do a test run. Uh, you want to have multiple feeds in your virtual windows. It might be the main screen that you're running the meeting on, like I was. It might be a full screen window for PowerPoint or keynote presentations, like I just used. And it might be a screen like with multiple windows, like that Arduino IDE screen that I was showing you. Uh, turn on the recording. Make sure you warn anybody who's in the meeting that you're recording them, because that's only polite and probably legally required. Do a brief talking head introduction, then switch between the different windows to deliver a flow of content similar to what you would do in an in-person lecture. So for example, in my in-person lecture, I might have finished up presenting some of these PowerPoint slides or keynote slides, and now I'm going to escape out of that and go over and, uh, or if I stopped the share, then we'd see something well, I would see just my face up here as a talking head. So now if I want to switch back to my shared screen and show some other stuff, I'll have to reshare the desktop screen and to the Arduino ID and I can type in some more code or just more comments. If you're trying to deliver something like this, it may be really useful to type or write first and then talk about it or talk and then type or write and then describe what you typed or wrote. So for example, if I wanted to put a uh, for loop into this code, so I typed all of that in without saying anything, meaning that I can speed that whole typing process up later, which uh, will reduce the amount of time in the, in the video if it's being delivered asynchronously. And now I can say, okay, Here's the, uh, the content of the for loop. I'm setting up a variable i that's gonna start off equal to one. Every time I go around the loop, and that's the part in between these two curly braces, it's gonna test and see if it's less than five. If it is less than five, it's gonna execute the code that's in between the curly braces. And then after it's done that, it's going to increment i by one. When it finally gets to the point where i tests out is no longer less than five, i.e. it's gonna go zero, one, two, three, four, then it's gonna skip out and it's gonna start executing the code down below. So had I typed that in uh, while I was talking instead, I probably would have typed less accurately and I certainly would have typed more slowly, but I might have said something like for uh, j equals zero, uh, j less than five, j plus plus, and then I would have gone back and described what each of these parts was. And that would have taken twice as long in the finished asynchronous video. And then I can move back to my, uh, my keynote. And here's the slide we were looking at. I've set up some feeds. I've done a bit of a test run. I want you to try that now, make a recording and see how well it works for you.